Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and especially Otakus and Hikikomori's out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 AK Mania Wolverine. Of course, you guys know the rest of the intros and outros towards this channel. And as always, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram.com, Nintendo Sony Free 2012 TCG. Same with the Twitter one, except it's Nintendo Free 2011. It's a while ago. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully, you guys can see me pretty well. In about five more minutes, it's going to get pitch black, so i got to try to make this as quick as I can in my chat and breeze. I'm in a different neighborhood today. Well, I was here once before, a while ago, but further up down the block when I did my last chat and breeze vlog about a month ago when it was around this area. I usually do it around the other neighborhood way out over here, but, like, towards that direction. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, sorry we got real close to the camera there. Um... Yeah, without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to be a little bit more quieter because you know, here's a lot of senior citizens that live around here. And I don't want to be too much of a loud wise ass like I normally am. <laughs> Compared to the other four neighborhoods, I usually do walk and talk. So I shout out to that dude way back in the day. Some guy 87, that was his shit. And he doesn't do YouTube anymore, so I can say that now. <laughs> I think he does this Facebook stuff and a lot of like techno trance music and heavy metal music now. Which I'm glad he became like an underground heavy metal rock star now. So shout out to him in case stevie <laughs> oh look at that beautiful car i mean plane let's see if i can focus it better for you there you go so without further ado let's begin i'm going to talk about this for maybe like a minute and a half but i heard about pokemon and sun and moon's episode 65 or 66 one of those students shout out to tokyo source him besides chibi reviews and anime news network are the main three peeps i usually get my information on anime on otaku manga um <clears throat> information and brand new news stories and all that and otaku coin as well not getting sponsored by them i wish <laughs> but other than that yeah ladies and gentlemen um when pokemon ultra not ultra ultra moon but just the pokemon sun and moon anime series it was a gundam wing or gundam seed reference many people didn't know when i was a 90s kid back in the day <laughs> gundam seed was my shit the absolute shiz the bee's knees for me i loved it perfection said it to you it was exquisite every single little positive word i can think of comes out of this cranium is how awesome and epic as hell that series was for me. Growing up as a 90s kid, watching Tsunami every time I came back. I think it was like second or third grade at the time. Way back in the day. It was like 97 or 98 a while ago. And it's almost like going to be 2019 next year. And then 2020, another decade. And I'll be an old fossil by then. I'll be like 30-something by then. I'm not going to tell you the age by then. Yeah, they did a Gundam Wing reference. It was really cool. I'll do like... When I go back to my roomie's place, so again, I'll probably do a little bit more of a vlog tomorrow about that as the thumbnail that you saw includes, excludes me from t talking about it. So I don't get no copyright claim or strike on any of that crap. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin to the real news. Diablo 3, or Diablo 4 or 5 now. They actually did a Blizzard Entertainment. <laughs> this is something I used to play as an early 2000s kid, by the way, a lot in my PS2 and shit. A lot back in the day, you know, when PlayStation 2 was still relevant. Now it's like PS4 Pro and, and Xbox One X, Nintendo Switch, which I still like a few modern day games every now, now and then. Yes, I am a grown adult. I'm 29 now, but I still have having my fair share of playing stuff. And I'm already getting tired, and it's only been like three and a half minutes. Shit, man. I'm way out of shape if I'm getting tired that quick. Oh, as far as Pokemon Go news goes, I know there's a Bulbasaur bump, but dang, dang it. Way over there, there's a post office out there. I'm not going to say which one it is. I think it was, doubt if it was FedEx. I think it was something else. It was a wild Venus sword over there, and I freaking caught it with one Pokeball. And I got a screen picture on Instagram if you want to check it out over there. Shameless promotion. I apologize. But yeah, <laughs> other than that, I'm super hyped as hell about it because it just brings more hope and happiness to the Pokemon Go community. Granted, I know it's kind of dead these days, but it is what it is because... <laughs> I really, really like playing it a lot. Honestly, I do. This Pokemon Go is my life. It is my goals, dreams, ambitions, and all that stuff. And it's really, really fun. So go check it out. Yeah, Diablo 3. I know they had a DLC thing for it, and I was really, really hyped and excited about it. It was a turnout for me because of Blizzard Entertainment. And I know they're well known for World of Warcraft and League of Legends and all that, and Hearthstone. And all those other like PC games, I'm not really big into, but I know some of you guys are into because it is a huge ass opportunity to get into it. If any people want to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars a year, I'm playing that game once a month. Cause 
it is a pain in the ass to get all those things honestly it is tbh it seriously is you're getting a money's worth on it i'll guarantee you granted i like I'm more of a league of legends dude than i am a world of warcraft man it was a world of warcraft for me it just wasn't doing a trick and i'm the widest think he's going out of focus come on focus piece of garbage <laughs> anyways um as far as that goes there was a brand new light thing that blizzard entertainment on their official twitter account specifically said on their twitter that they were going to be um what's it called putting out this exclusive light that said sweet dreams and had the diablo logo face on it now it's pretty damn awesome not gonna lie honestly it was I don't know why the hell that truck keeps like going in circles over there starting to creep me the fuck out. You know, come on. You already know how much of a little bit of a paranoid asshat I can be. But it is what it is. I don't have to rat to any of that bullshit. As far as that goes, yeah, on their official Twitter account, they even said themselves they're going to be making a brand new like DLC pack that's going to be coming soon. And there was rumors saying it was going to be a Nintendo Switch. Now, I know Nintendo Switch has been getting away with a couple of few crazy things like arms, with that really fine ass black model and chick. Many people don't know what I'm at. It's just like African American and Spanish. <laughs> There's that, which I'm really, really happy about. She had really nice thick legs and thighs. Beautiful ass on her. And same with the other chick, Marina. I know, yes, I'm not really into like what I know chicks very much, but there are a few of them that are hot. Obviously, like people like Beyonce or um, how Rihanna used to be back in the day. I used to like her, Nicki Minaj. Now, there's that new one. Granted, she's half Puerto Rican and Dominican, but she's still cool. Cardi B. And she's kind of like a Nicki Minaj clone anyways. <laughs> I'm not really, really big into mainstream media music. I'm more into underground hip-hop. So most of you people have seen my channel long enough. You know, I like underground hip-hop or mainstream music. Probably dub stuff every now and then occasionally. And other stuff. Not to get off topic or anything, but yeah. They did a few risque things. They did Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2. They did a whole bunch of other, like, very risque, super, a little bit over-sexualized, over-the-top chicks. Like her, Samus Aaron, making her way more beautiful than she already was. Zelda and Breath of the Wild. Did you see all those memes that were? The thick memes. She's so thick, bro. She's thick, thick, thick. Like all those other things. <laughs> but Nintendo doing a lot of super... They even did L.A. Noir like two months ago in January. They even did like that game for the Nintendo Switch. But for Nintendo to put Diablo 3, 1, 2, 3, or even a new one like 4 or 5 on their platform, there's a hot ton of blood and gore in there. And a lot of swearing and cursing on there, so. <laughs> I don't know how the hell Nintendo's going to steer clear around that controversy, but best of luck to them, man. Really, definitely best of luck, because they're going to need it. Because Nintendo's just a billion-dollar company. They're a video game company that does lots of good-ass things for the industry. And it's absolutely incredibly awesome. You know, I grew up with it when I was a 90s kid. You know, I had Pokemon, Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong, um... What else was on there? Uh, besides Legend of Zelda, the Kirby series, all that stuff, you know. To be frank with you, I'm going to miss it. Nintendo messes this up. Of course, they're going to have that new thing, Nintendo Labo. I know a lot of people are bullshitting and complaining about that trash. And I don't blame them for it either. Honestly, I don't. I don't know where the hell that dude came from. Other than that, friends, as far as that goes, I got to keep putting this on. Apologize. As far as that goes, friends, man... I don't know how Nintendo's going to do it. They're going to steer clear around there. They're going to bring this Diablo 3 or 4 or 5 series coming out. Like I said, there's a lot of blood gore and a lots of violence. And, you know, the video game violent crap, you know, it's still a big trending thing with the president and all that. I'm not going to get into politics because there's a lot of negativity and horse garbage and that stuff. To be quite frank with you people, to be honest, or TBH as the millennials and the linksters say. <laughs> But as far as that goes, ladies and gentlemen, one last thing I want to say. If they do decide to do this, they're probably going to put a rating M for Mature. This will be the literally the first M for Mature game that Nintendo ever puts on their system and their platform. I would have seen maybe Sony or the PC series doing it. Maybe like um, the Xbox One X would do it for Microsoft. They'd be doing Diablo. I mean, they already put Diablo on some of their games too. Way back in Sony PS1 and the PS2 era. You can't blame them for that. So, can't hate on the player, hate the game. Bars, bro. Uh, last but not least, you know, Blizzard is a billion trillion dollar company. They work with Ubisoft for so many years. They're in bed with each other. Obviously, they love the crap out of what they do. And I forgot to bring my hat earlier. I had to put them in the laundry because they were getting stained really bad by a lot of dirt and stuff that was flying in sand last week Friday. That's why I didn't really 
get to do too many vlogs on like chatting breezes on Friday. Actually, no, I did that 12 year old kid getting swatted thing, but that one was different. That was on Thursday when I did that. Right now, I don't do videos on Thursday. That was one of the few times that I did, but I uploaded that one on a Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah, one more other extra thing because it's getting way pitch black now, so you guys probably can't even see me at this point, but that's nothing to do with it at all. Shout out to this dude. I know he's a little bit of a depressing negative guy, but he's funny. His name's hiding in my room. He's, he's a chill Asian dude. He's really, really awesome. I think he's mixed. But it is what it is from, he was born and raised in the UK because I hear that British accent, but it's really cool. I want to shout out to another one, Lee and Lee. They make so much good anime English dub music. They translate all the Japanese music and I'm putting it into English dub. That is epic. Epic as hell. And I'm already done with the Blizzard main store and that nice little highlight thing that they got in their crazy little demon devil face thing, whatever. It looks cool as hell, I'm not going to lie. It looks sick. I would love to have that in my PS3 collection, PS4. Um, other than that, folks, <laughs> yeah, Lee and Lee, they make really, really good ass anime music. Granted, they got like 2.1 million subscribers, so so many people might have heard of them before. One of the girls named GBASMR, shout out to her too. Another sexy, beautiful voice, nice face, beautiful body of a goddess, gorgeous, amazing. I'm kind of a womanizer when it comes out, but granny can't say that anymore because, you know, a lot of feminists and LGBT, microaggressors, transgressors, liberals, all that bull crap. Some of the stuff that Monday Matt talks about, sometimes I watch, sometimes I don't. And other things, I'll agree with them. Well, this one dude who was 55 years old, he got murdered on Facebook, and that sucks ass. So it's happened a lot more on Facebook. That's another reason why I stood off of Facebook for a long time. Because a lot of effed up crap happens over there. And to be honest with you, I want to stay as safe and nice as I can. So I'm still more on Twitter and Instagram than, than I am on Facebook, to be 110% honest with you. And that's it. Links to description box down below. Lee and Lee, GBS ASMR. Shout out to them if you like ASMR, sexy, beautiful women. I swear to God, it's not porn or any of that crap. It's on here on YouTube. If you don't believe me, I'll leave the link down below. Beautiful, sexy angel voices. They're amazing. They do some of the, they did Neon Genesis, Aegangelion, Sonic the Hedgehog version, Persona 5, Persona 6 remakes in the English dub songs. That's beautiful. I love it. To the perfection to the T. I love it. 10 on 10 IGN rating. It's approved by Nintendo Sony Free 2011, your boy. Oh, one other thing. <laughs> Before I get to the Lee and Lee thing, shout out to another person too, by the way. Naki Dearest or the Anime Man, because I usually give them shout outs because they have like millions of plus subscribers. But another dude, <laughs> he does a couple like anime reviews occasionally. He's, he's decent. I think he deserves a little bit more of a subscription into his channel, but he's really, really cool as hell. Honestly. Um, damn, I'm forgetting his name. Shoot. Now, Misty Quornex, I know he's pretty damn big, too. Ah, oh, there's a couple other people out there are pretty damn good. Oh, man, it's slipping my tongue. Ah, oh, it's one of Chibi Review's friends. I think King of Lightning. Shout out to him. He does really good ass manga um, reviews as well. And that's it. Links in the description box down below into the video as well, and I'm done here. Peace howls out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, we'll talk to Dinky Kamodis out there. I will see you when I see you. And guys, have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink small weed at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies, and bye. Stay tuned more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind, stay easy, stay safe, stay healthy, be easy with yourself. Peace out, my like sauerkraut. I'm going to get a lot here. Take it easy. See you guys on the next future vlog. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side in the future stuff. Uh, see you for more content. <laughs> Ooh, see you for more uh, future content, commentary, and vlogs on this future channel. I almost slipped on a rock. <laughs> see you guys on the flip side. Take care. I'm gone. And uh, see you on the next future vlog videos. Take care. Deuces. Goodbye. And see you later. Take care. And one more other thing. It's dark as hell out here, but... I love the beautiful atmosphere of almost early spring. Daylight saving is a thing. Next week, goodbye. Oh, and I'm getting a Splatoon thing as well. So stay tuned for that stuff as well. <laughs> as I'm doing an unboxing of Marina and um, Pearl from Splatoon 2. Take it easy and I'm gone. See you later.